What's up guys, it's Jeremy here with a Galaxy S6 Active video. Now today's video is going to be about battery life and this is just going to be an informal discussion. I'm not going to be running any numbers, I'm not going to be showing you any screenshots, no proof. So if you want to see hardcore numbers and facts then you might as well just leave now. So I've had this phone since Friday, the day it came out, walked into Best Buy, got it, plugged it in, started using it. For the first thing I've noticed, the screen on time isn't that amazing. I've got about five hours of screen on time. Keep in mind, every day I'm using this thing quite a lot. I'm When the screen isn't on, I'm listening to music. I'm getting emails constantly coming in. I have three emails hooked up to it. I have my Android Wear device hooked up to it. I have an up app hooked up to it that um, takes steps from this and, con and constantly transfers it to this. So I certainly don't have like a bare bones phone in terms of software to do this testing. I also, you know, use Facebook and that's a very um, battery hungry app. Um, so like I said, for five hours of screen on time, you can certainly get by all day and won you won't have any issues at all. Like for instance, the other day I unplugged it at 3 a.m., uh, did some homework, went for a walk, took pictures, everything, and I made it till that night, you know, at 9 p.m. before I plugged it in. It was at like 10%. I mean, it wasn't as good as I was expecting, considering 3,500 milliamp hours is quite a bit. That's more than the Galaxy Note 4, I believe. Um, there's a few things I am testing out. Like right now, I changed the phone to the power save mode. So that's kind of helped a little bit. I was looking at the graph throughout the day before I did the power save mode. It was kind of like going down pretty steep. And after it, it leveled out a little bit. So you could tell that was doing something. Um, and then I also downloaded an app called Greenify, where it puts apps into hibernation. Um, right now it says, you know, that some apps are hibernating, some aren't. Um, so we'll see how that works out. I may do a video, you know, a month or two from now after I get stuff figured out. The best way to get bit up in here, out here in w the wilderness. Um, I, after a while I figure out things, you know, figure out the best way to maximize battery life. I may do a video on that, but I wanted to just do a video, you know, you take the phone out the box, you use it, you download apps like you normally would, you would use things like you normally would, just for the average consumer, you know. So, as of right now, about five hours, screen on time, comfortable all day battery life, as long as it's fully charged when... You know, you, you unplug it when you get up and it's fully charged. Um, it's got the fast charging, so that's not much of a problem there. I was expecting more, and I have heard, you know, Lollipop is kind of weird how it manages programs. So Greenify is the program you want to use if you want to help maximize battery life. And like I said, I'm using the um, power save mode on the Galaxy um, S6 Active, which it hasn't really affected any type of performance. And I think it is helping a little bit. Um, I also changed screen time out from 30 seconds to 15 because I never really turn the screen off with the button. Um, and I'm just going to play around things. Like I said, um, subscribe to my channel so that way you know when I do, do another update video. This one is just out of the box, average consumer, what they do, how much battery they'll use. And then from there I'll go more in depth, maybe provide some charts, provide some better ways to get this thing rolling. If I can figure out how to root this device, I'll do that because there are some battery saving apps that take advantage of a rooted device. And that's it guys. Um, still, I can whole, wholeheartedly recommend this device. Battery life is good, just not good thinking about what should be inside it. So that's just perplexing to me. The toughness to it is amazing. It actually looks, it doesn't look bad to me. I mean, it's a decent looking device. The back of the device, which is rubberized, it has the same texture as right here. Um, in terms of design, like it doesn't feel the same, but the little, um, just the way it looks matches. So I like that. The buttons aren't bad. The, you know, click to turn on the camera is amazing to use. The front facing camera is actually amazing. Like, it takes a really wide-angled uh, picture, but I'm just going on and on. I just want to do an update video on the battery itself. If you do have any questions that I have not answered in my Galaxy S6 videos, which you can see them all, I'll link to the playlist below. 
just leave a comment below. I'll be glad to test out anything for you. I do realize, you know, I'm one of the few people to buy this device right away because it is for AT&T only, and it did just come out, and everyone may be in a contract right now. So, I'm going to make a video about every single thing. If at the end of the year I have 100 Galaxy S6 Active videos, that's fine with me. And if all of your questions have been answered, that's great. Um, like I said, leave a comment below with your questions, like this video, and subscribe for more Galaxy S6 videos today. Thanks guys. Bye. Yep, it's not a good idea to set your tripod in ants and then walk onto the hill barefoot. You better like this video. It will help my ant bites heal.